morning, everyone. I have my little bag of neighbor gifts all ready to go. And I put them in my crazy daisy Christmas um, show bag. We got these for being the first 50 people in line at the crazy daisy show. So anyway, I'm gonna go around and take these to my neighbors and I shall be right back. Well, I made it back from doing the neighbor gifts and it is such a nice day. I didn't need my coat. It's sunny and warm and I didn't need my coat because ta-da! I have a new sweater. This is from Shein and I I think it was like 6 or 8 dollars, maybe about 7 or 8 dollars. I love it so much. And it was the pom-poms that grabbed me. I just love it. And it's kind of short, not too short, but the sleeves go clear past my hands. And so I just think that's weird. So I just went ahead and rolled them up two times and it's fine. And it washed great and it dried great. I, I washed and dried them and I bought another cardigan sweater as well. I'll show you that later and I washed and dried it and it was perfect. It didn't stretch or fade or bleed. I love their sweaters and their sweatshirts. I think they are so much better than Timu. I'm just putting that out there from what I've gotten. I mean, I haven't gotten too much from Shein, but things that I've gotten from Timu have just, some are good and then some are just me. And I had actually ordered a couple sweaters from Timu for Thanksgiving. Uh-uh. The sweater was cute, but they sew everything so weird. I had bat wings that like came like this. It was just awful and and then when I twisted and moved the whole my whole sweater because it was attached like this, it would just move over with me and it was awful. Not to mention the knitting on those Timu sweaters are kind of um not so great. They are kind of cheesy looking. If you look carefully, it looks like it's all waffle type knit you know what I mean I don't know but this is just really pretty it looks like a nice sweater you'd get at Kohl's or something so I'm impressed and they didn't charge me shipping the last couple times Shein has charged me shipping so the very first time I used it and then the second time the second time I used it I replaced my one Halloween sweatshirt that black one with the cool retro design on it. I replaced it and got a smaller size and and they did charge me on that one too. So um cuz I also had ordered something else to go with it. But this last time I ordered this and the other sweater and they didn't charge me. So I don't know if they just charge newcomers their first couple times or if this is just a Christmas promo thing. I don't know. But anyway, I ordered this. It took a long time, just like Timu. I ordered it and it came in about a week and a half, almost two weeks, but um, I love it. It's adorbs. So I need to go to Kohl's today. I hope I can find a coupon in my mailbox. I don't know. Um, Daryl wears shorts around the house and the last time I got him some shorts from Kohl's, was a few years ago and they are just hammered. The elastic is shot and the only way that he can keep them on is to use the tie and the thread is coming out. It's just awful. So I wanted to try to find a couple pairs of those for him. And then I wanna go to Five Below just to get something for my nieces to play with while they're here at my house. Cause after they um, open presents, excuse me, after they open presents, they usually have something to play with and put together or do. And this year they didn't get any of that. I hope they're not listening, but um, 
the older they get, you know, the less they get. And it's just hard when they have everything and they're girls and they're close together and you want to buy them the same thing but different so they don't get jealous or fight. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I need to get them something crafty to do so that after we open presents, they like to just sit and do their thing. They play with something. Um, and then we all just sort of chit chat and then have dessert and then they leave. So I just want to try to see if I can find something that they can play with or keep them busy or be interested in. But I don't want to spend an arm and a leg because we've already spent an arm and a leg. Ugh. And I need to go to the grocery store and get some Gatorade. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Okay, they sort of revamped everything in the store, but I found his shorts and they're on sale for $12.99 a piece. And I don't have a coupon, but you can ask for one at at the cash register, but they're always like 10 or 15% off. Never 30%, but that's okay. So I'm hoping I can find them something else good. super cute. I'm in the juniors department right now. This used to be the ladies, so I'm like totally lost. You guys, I got the biggest discount and I didn't even have a coupon. I didn't know they were doing it. Um, so my shorts were, uh, how much were they normally? $12.99 on sale. I got two pairs and then they rung up at $9.74. And then I got him this really cool, he'll like this, he likes these things. It's just a half zip, really, thick um, shirt and it was on sale for $24.99 um, or $29.99 and I got it for $14.99 because it's friends and family apparel day with coupon but I didn't have a coupon but she gave it to me so my total was only $35.52 and she didn't tell me she was giving it to me I had asked her if there was a coupon that I could scratch off. And she says, oh, we don't do that anymore. And I was like, oh. So I was expecting to pay 60 bucks or whatever. And 35 bucks. I am thrilled to death. I am thrilled to death. It's a madhouse in here, five below. All right, I am back. And let me show you what I got at Kohl's. So these are the shorts that he likes. And he does have this pair already, but they're hammered. So he better just chuck those and wear these because I'll probably, he'll probably just stash these away, I'm sure, and wear the other ones until he can't wear them anymore, which is now. <laughs> and then I got him some gray ones, and I know he does not have this pair of gray ones. So, and then here is the jacket pullover type thing I got him and this was on sale for 19 and then I got it for $14.99 that was so nice of her to give me that discount she didn't even tell me she was gonna do that so I need to go upstairs get these wrapped before he sees it's 4 11 he doesn't get off until 5 so and then I got my nieces some fun things so Anyway, but I can't show you what they are because they might watch this video. However, I can show you these. I got these at Five Below. I love these chakra rooms. 
They are so, so good. I just love them so much. The tip is solid chocolate, and then this stem is a little cookie, and the chocolate is really good quality. And these were five bucks. I should have got two, but anyway, Five Below always has these, so I'm excited. I just looked outside and we had a package on our doorstep. I ordered some whitening pens for my teeth on QVC. And so he put, thank you, Merry Christmas. And his name is Reed. Um, he got my little present that I left him in the mailbox today. <laughs> Isn't that cool? He's so sweet. His name is Reed. I got, um, these smile active pens and I got them in candy cane flavor yummy and there are two pens in the box because I have whitening toothpaste by smile actives and I really like it but um, I need something to get in the cracks like in between my teeth like throughout the day and so these will probably fit the bill. I like it. I have all of the girl's stuff wrapped already, but look how fun it is from up here. I got all of Momo's toys on the floor, but there are all the presents. And then Kathy gave Momo that cute little garland. And so I just, Hung it around her arch. It looks festive. So right now I'm wrapping his shorts and I put everything in a shoe box. So his shorts are in this shoe box and then his, his um, pullover is in another shoe box. <laughs> I just happened to find them in the spare room. So that's what I'm using. not doing a good job. I don't care. When Daryl wraps presents, he is so perfect. And he thinks that they're not, but they are the most perfect presents I've ever seen. He is just Mr. Wrapper. Let's see what I need to go in and get another color of wrapping. Okay, I keep all the wrapping paper here in the spare room. I have a lot. And this is, this is heavy. Oh, and it's double-sided. This is so old, I forgot that it was double-sided. I have a lot of old paper. I'm using these little children's Dollar Tree scissors. And then, after I'm done, I have to hide them. And then, I have to remember where I hide them. I'm telling you what, I forget where I put things a lot lately. I am just getting old. I like this paper. It's thick and it wraps nicely. It's easy to handle. So even though I'm not trying, I'm doing a dang good job on this one. Okay. Done.